Welcome or welcome back to Tiny Help at C Square. In this example, we have a wooden artifact uh, that contains just 40% of the carbon 14. We need to find uh, how long ago to the nearest year was the artifact made, knowing that the half time of carbon 14 is 5730 years. And you notice here we have this formula exponential growth and decay. In this case, we have decay. And that's the thing I'm going to start with. I'm going to write here something like this. A equals A sub 0 times B to the power of T. So very similar to what I have down here. A is the amount of the uh, carbon-14. Uh, um, after a period of time, A sub 0 what was initially. Uh, and uh, B is the exponential base of the exponential function. And t is the time. Very similar. But my first thing here is to use this half life time. And that means if you have, for example, 100 grams after 5730 years, you have 50 grams. So we can do something like this uh, equals b. b is the thing we're going to find out in this uh, first part. And the time it's 5730. So this equation here, because it is an equation, uh, represent the situation of this carbon 14 after 5730 years. So, yeah, if we have 100 grams after 5730 years, we have 50 grams. Okay, after another. 5,730 years is going to be only 25 grams. Now, looking to this 40%, I think we should be somewhere here around, you know, more than 5,730 years, but for sure less than 10,000 years. Okay, so now my thing here is to solve for this B, and for that reason, I'm going to divide by 100. Okay. And I'm going to have here 0 0.5, which I think makes sense. Half of the original quantity equals b to the power of 5730. For finding b, we're going to have to do what? Taking this wonderful root on both sides. Okay. So, in fact, B will be nothing else than this interesting root of 5730th root, if you want to call it like that, of 0.5. You can grab a calculator and eventually find out if you want, but we don't really need it. We're going to move to the next part, where I'm going to use, again, this equation. Now, uh, again, I'm going to put A sub 0. And uh, I'm going to replace the B of this wonderful radical. And then again uh, to the power of T. I know it doesn't look nice, but it is what it is. And now we look into this 40%. 40%. If we want to change it in a decimal, that will be what? 0. 4, right? This is the decimal form. So that's what we're going to have here. 0 0.4 of the initial quantity, quantity 40%, equals A sub 0. And then um, we have this wonderful radical. And the T is the thing we want to find out here now. Huh? Now, what you can do here, very fast, is uh, cancel this initial quantity. And we have this equation here, 0 0.4 equals, uh, one more time, this interesting radical to the power of uh, t. So now, what can we do here? Remember, we need to find t, so we're going to logarithmate. I'm going to use natural log. And what's going on here? Now we have two things here. We have uh, this t that goes up from right away. And 
And we have this natural log, which we can keep it like that. If you want, but I think, let me be sure we have, we see that index. But I think the best way to treat this one is look into this last part, this natural log. And the easy way will be to move that index as a fraction. Remember, we can write that radical as a uh, rational exponent, and that will be the form. OK, and now we're going to solve for t. So basically, uh, you want to do two things, multiply by 5,730 and divide by natural log of 5. So t will be this guy, uh, 5,730 times natural log of 0 0.4 over natural log of 0 0.5. This is the exact value. Now we're going to just take a calculator to evaluate this. And one more time here, I multiply both sides by 5,730, this guy. Okay, and divide both sides by these guys, and I end up with that T. So let me grab a calculator now and do this math, and let's see how much we get. So I end up with this value, uh, 7,000. 574.6. So since we need to the nearest year, that will be 7,575 years, which I think makes sense if you take a look to my original my original point right here. Yeah, sometime here we're gonna have just 40 grams. Some sometime between 5,730 years and uh, 10,000, and that was 7,000. 575 years. That's when the artifact was made. If you enjoy this example, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.